Hey guys, today we've got something to show you that you're going to find really useful. Imagine being able to control your Raspberry Pi Pico projects from a smartphone, tablet, anything with a web browser. You're looking at a web page from a web server running off a Raspberry Pi Pico W. Not only is it being run off the Pico W, but it's also being used to control the um, a physics experiment that we explore in another video off the Pico W. We've done all the hard work so you can just take a code off GitHub and run cool web servers off your Raspberry Pi Pico W or create amazing user inf interfaces to control your projects on the Raspberry Pi Pico W from a smartphone, a tablet or a computer. Now I do recommend checking out our article at gurgleapps.com because we're always updating the code and the article to go along with it and also any extra information that you need will be on there. You can serve a load of web pages and just leave it at that. But the special thing about this web page is that it controls the Raspberry Pi Pico's onboard LED. We've chosen this because number one is simple and number two if you only have a Raspberry Pi Pico W, um, no other components, then you can still do this because it only requires the Pico. So I can just change the delay to 0 0.1. So it originally was flashing every second and now it'll flash every 0 0.1 seconds. And I can even stop the light from flashing. To call the Python function on your Pico that changes the delay from the web server is just this one line of code. In our web page, when we update this value here or do anything, um, the JavaScript quietly goes off in the background and requests a new web page with this value. But we can do that manually and hack around a little bit. So in here, if I go, go set delay then let's go back up to one and up here it's returned back some json and json is just a fancy way of returning data um, so javascript can read it and if you remember the web page before was updating the status and um, updating the delay in that text above the blue start button and now you know where it got that data from this is a simple contrived example. Your web page could look completely different to this and have loads more information and controls. Imagine a remotely controlled weather station on your Pico with a temperature and humidity sensor and a light sensor. Our Pico web server can control it from a web page and show the data from it on a web page. Our Pico web server can be used to create powerful interactive web applications for Raspberry Pi Pico projects. You can monitor and control your devices remotely and conveniently through a web interface. I'm going to wrap the video up here, but this is brand new and we'll be following up with um, more videos on this um, Pico web server um, and how to get the most out of this. Thank you so much for watching and please Every like, comment and subscriber really, I mean, is noticed. So it really helps us out a ton. So if you could do that, that would be so, so appreciated. So like and subscribe, guys. Um, also, spread the word about us. Yeah, if, we're only little, okay. so yeah. <laughs> we're not little, but... Anyways, have a good day. Well, <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>